posture. Yeah, I know. Hello. Uh, yes. I stand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mess it up already. Hi there. I'm Kimia, and I'm in my second year of honors biomedical sciences. Hi guys. I'm Cody, and I'm in my last year of biology. My name is Megan. I'm in my fourth year of environmental sciences co-op. I'm Maggie. I'm in third year of honor science. My name's Eric, and I'm a third year student in mathematical physics at Waterloo. My name is Cherry, and I'm a second year pharmacy student. And today, we're going to be answering some frequently asked questions of science students looking to apply to Waterloo. Our first question is, what are the admission averages and uh, courses that are required to apply to the University of Waterloo Science? Uh, so for all of our different science programs, uh, we have the same general required courses. So we are looking for uh, fourth year English, uh, fourth year English, I mean, grade 12 English, sorry, uh, for you English, a uh, calculus and vectors, as well as uh, advanced functions. And with those, you require at least a minimum of 70% across those. We also are requiring two of biology, physics, chemistry, data management, or earth and space sciences, and one additional U or M level course. Generally for our sciences programs, uh, we're looking for low 80, uh, overall average of low 80s, but that can fluctuate a bit depending on the program. How can I customize my degree? So like Eric was talking about, there mm -hmm. are different minors. There are six to eight courses that you would take maybe during your electives, which can uh, translate into having a minor on your degree. Yeah, there's eight of them in the Faculty of Science, and there's also about 50 other ones from different uh, departments and faculties across the university. There are also specializations which are similar to a minor, uh, but you choose them within your program specifically. There are certain programs like uh, Earth, Earth Sciences and uh, Environmental Sciences where you have to specify, where you have to choose a specialization. But there are also other programs where you can either specialize or not specialize, uh, and either way, uh, you'll be able to get the degree, the courses you want for your degree. Okay, next question. What's the tuition and are there extra fees? So tuition for sciences is approximately $720,000. Uh, or not 720, that's a lot. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that is too much. First year tuition is about 7,200, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then there are extra costs on top, such as maybe residence or any uh, textbooks fees as well. Yeah, the textbooks come to around $2,000. It seems like a lot, but what I liked about my first year textbooks is they were really applicable to other courses as well. So it's not just like one textbook was used for a single course. There's even some textbooks uh, that I used across all three courses. Actually, this one, uh, the calculus yeah. textbook I used across multiple courses. Uh, so yeah, that's good. It's good value with those first year textbooks. Yeah, and some of them it spans over like two semesters, right. so you will be using it for a longer time. What's the workload like in science? Um, I think it varies within each program. A lot yeah. of different uh, programs take courses that include lab components. Yeah. So sometimes you're in the laboratory for a couple of hours, you know, getting hands-on experience, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, as well as there are often tutorial sections, or you can also go to professor office hours, which are a really great way to get additional one-on-one -on -one help. Those are amazing. Ten out of ten. Does science offer computer science or math programs? So, because Waterloo has both a faculty of science and a faculty of math, computer science and math are offered in the faculty of math. Now, that doesn't mean the, the faculties are totally separate. I'm in mathematical physics, so I actually take courses with the math faculty as well as with the science faculty. And if you're a science student interested in these sorts of things, there are also uh, minors that you could take or just take some courses as electives for fun. Who can I contact for any questions that I have? So right now, as possible prospective students who are interested in science at the University of Waterloo, you can contact Caitlin, who is our recruitment coordinator, and she's awesome, uh, at science at uwaterloo.ca, and she's be able to, she'll be able to help you out with any questions that you have of, what's this course about? I'm confused about how to apply. She's here to help you out. Any kind. Any, any kind. kind of question. She's awesome. And then as you get into university as well, we do have people like our lovely academic advisors who are here to help for questions of, I don't know how to get into this course, or I don't know where I want to go. Or and you want to switch majors. Yes, they are going to help <laughs> with that. So there's a bunch of ways. Do we offer a tour of the Faculty of Science? Yes, we do. We offer one every single day at 3.30. Come visit our campus. It's really nice, and we're located at 200 University Avenue West. You knew the address off the top of your head? Yes. <laughs> Why did you choose to study science? Oh, you want to go first, Megan? Sure. Um, I love being outside, and I love uh, understanding why things are the way they are and how they're interacting. So that is why environmental science is a really good choice for me. I 
have enjoyed it so far in that I get to try different things and get hands on and get dirty, like yeah. get in a creek and study the water <laughs> systems and climb up a mountain and say, why are these rocks here? So that's why I chose to study science. Uh, for me, from a young age, I've, I've always been very interested in science. Like since I was seven, I think my brother had like an anatomy book and I remember going through it and being like, whoa, this is so interesting and going through that. So I think it really drove me um, to really study science and specifically why I'm in honor science is because I don't really have a preference in which science I study. So I really enjoy chemistry. I really enjoy biology and also like astronomy is something I've always wanted to study in too. So That's like cool. it's, it allows you to be like really open and choose what you kind of want to discover what you mm -hmm. like and further on in the uh, years when you study, it's like just a lot. It's a lot of fun. Like you just get to choose what That's you want to do. It's like what you want to what you want to study, what you mm -hmm. love. So, yeah. Oh, oh, no, that was the last one. And that's one. it. We got them all. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Well, that's all of our questions. So thanks for watching and hope to see you at Waterloo.